Let's have a look at the three top ways to blend colors in Adobe Illustrator. Let's dive right into it. The first way to blend colors in Illustrator is by using the color edition tool. Here's how you do it. First of all, however, we are going to create some simple shapes. In my case, I will go with circles here, but of course you could use this blend method also on other objects such as triangles or octagons or whatever. So to make some circles, I'm going to use the shaper tool that you can find here in the left toolbar. So simply equip that and then on your canvas, drag and hold a circle. Then I'm going to press V on the keyboard to equip the selection tool. I'm just going to make this circle a little bit smaller. And once we've done that, I'm going to press Command and C to copy that object. If you're on a Windows PC, that would be Control and C, obviously. And um, to paste it, it's Command and V on a Mac or Control and V on a PC. Then let us just duplicate this circle four times so that we end up with five circles in total. Now that we have these circles, I'm also going to align these horizontally. As you can see, I have these nice pink helping lines. If you don't have that, don't worry, you can activate them by consulting the top menu and then choosing View, followed by Smart Guides. So let's just reposition that a bit. Also, we would like to make sure that these are aligned horizontally, and we can do that by using the align panel. If you don't have the align panel, once again go in the top bar, then select window followed by align. Now make sure that all the circles are selected and then in the align panel under distribute spacing click on horizontal distribute space. And you will then find that your circles are now perfectly aligned. Now, in order for us to blend colors, we obviously need different colors in the first place. Right now, we just have one single color for all of these objects, so there's obviously nothing to blend. So what we're going to do now here for this first circle, we are going to change the color here into something else, maybe blue. And then we will also do that for the last circle. But here we're going to choose another color, let's say green. Now to blend these colors, make sure that all of the circles are selected. Then in the top menu, choose edit, followed by edit colors and then blend horizontally. And there you have it, nicely blended colors. Obviously we don't need five circles for that. We could also just have two circles with different colors and we could blend it like that, no problem. And that was method number one to blend colors in Illustrator. Now let's continue with method number two. This time around we are going to use the blend tool to blend colors in Illustrator. Also this time I'm going to delete these three circles here in the middle so that we just have two circles left. Again these two circles here they will need to have different colors because if not there's nothing to blend, right? Now while the selection tool is equipped make sure to select both of these circles. Then in the top bar menu choose object followed by blend and then make. And just like that, we have created yet another incredible blend. However, as you can see, Illustrate created an incredible amount of circles between our two original circles. Well, while in some cases this might be desired, it's probably not what you're looking for this time around. But don't worry, we can fix that very easily. Here's how you do it. First of all, make sure that your object is selected. Then in the top menu, choose Object, Blend and then go into blend options. Now here under spacing, choose specified steps and the number that you will enter here will equal to the quantity of middle objects. So, so let's say if in total we would like to have five circles, then we would actually type in three here because these are only the middle steps and we already have a circle to start with and our circle in the end. As you can see, the preview didn't really react, it's still showing the same thing. So to fix that, just untick the preview option and then tick it again and you will then see the actual preview. So in our case, we will indeed go with three here because that seems to look really great. To confirm the changes, simply click on OK. Now, whenever you blend objects in Illustrator with this method, please be aware that the shapes are getting linked under the blend effect. So in fact, if you want to manage these shapes as separate items, you will need to expand them. And you can do that by going to Object, then Blend, 
and then click on expand. And that's it guys, that was method number two to blend objects in Adobe Illustrator. Let's move on to method number three to blend colors in Illustrator and this time around we are going to use the gradient tool to get the job done. First of all I'm going to select all of these circles and I'm actually going to change the color here into a single color by simply pressing here on this color square. Green is fine for our purposes but you could obviously choose whatever you want. As we have multiple objects here to blend it's important that we will make a compound path. If you just have one circle here that you would like to blend then you can skip this next step. But whenever you have multiple objects you will need to make a compound path first. Here's how you do it. Click on object in the top bar menu, select compound path and then make. This actually deleted the fill colors for our circles so once again we would click here on green to get our color back. Now the next step is to open up the gradient panel. You can find it under window followed by gradient. Now make sure that your circles are selected and then in the gradient panel choose linear gradient. And just like that a lovely gradient over multiple colors has been created for us. As you can see the colors that we got now are completely different than the ones that I chose before. That's actually my bad. That's because I actually adjusted certain settings before doing this tutorial. So I'm really sorry about that. But actually it doesn't really matter because now that we do have this gradient, in the gradient panel we can actually adjust the colors to our liking very easily. And you can do that by clicking here on this first color circle and choose your starting color. Let's say green here again, then click on the circle here to the right and choose the ending color and you will then see that now we actually do have a gradient going from green to our desired color which in this case is some kind of pink or violet. You can obviously do that for all kinds of colors. Just understand that this first circle here will always be the starting point here for our first circle and the last circle we have here will be, will be the ending point of the gradient here for our last object. You can also go a step further of course and when you left click here somewhere on the gradient bar you will see that more circles will appear and you will then be able to choose even more colors that will also play into your gradient. And that's it guys, those were the three best methods to blend colors in Illustrator. Now to conclude, if you want to blend colors in a solid shape, then actually your only option to blend colors in Illustrator is using the gradient tool. If you would like to blend several shapes together, However, on the other hand, if you would like to blend several shapes, then you would use method number one or method number two that I showed in this tutorial. Another, another thing to mention is that with the first method that I showed, the so-called color addition method, you will actually get a specific color for each shape, while with the gradient tool, the third method in this tutorial, you basically get different shades of the selected colors for every different shape. And that's it guys, this is how you blend colors in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video. If you did, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. I hope to see you soon guys, bye!